Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Here we are, folks kicking off the tinker day a very very nice yellow t5r sedan with mods I think this thing has a 19t in it about to get the manual swap done so let's get this thing in position and get started what's up jim about to drop this transmission fluid. Ah, I like to hold it up so it Do don't splash. No, it's be okay. And there it is. This transmission fluid actually looks good I'm compared at, to what I'm used to seeing. I serviced it regularly. It's normally dark this stuff is red awesome just a reminder that these transmission torque mount bolts normally have washers on them i seen one yesterday that didn't i'm going to drop the subframe push it under the car so I'll take this steering rack loose from the subframe remember do not hit these bolts with impacts because it loosens the cast nuts on top of them so I got a few 15 nets and an 18 net. And this stand rack will be loose from the subframe. Somebody jacked up this coolant line on this turbo. They must have cut it and then spliced it together with this hose. I've never seen nothing like that before in my life. That's going over it to this hose here. Weird. What are people doing? Might want to replace that. I think I'm ready to drop the subframe. Oh crap, before I drop the subframe, I had to put the engine support up here. So let me go get the engine support, support the engine, then drop the subframe. I think everything's disconnected from it. I got the ball joints bolts pulled out, so as I lower the subframe, I'm gonna tap the control arms out of the bottom of the knuckle there but everything else is disconnected from the subframe i still got a few bolts holding the transmission on i got all the top bolts off the bottom bolts are still holding it on and i got the bolt out of the mount out of the ground wire out of the wire harness sleeve uh, the anti-sway bar is disconnected from the links we should be ready to go but again let me put this engine support brace on so we could drop the subframe. Here it is, folks. 1995 transmission. Fully functional. Torque converter and all. Let us know if you're interested in it. I'm sure Jim will sell it. Probably don't want much for it, but he has no need for it. Decent hoses on it. Nothing's damaged. Just not usable anymore for the manual swap going on time for me to bust this flex plate off of here and get all the stuff installed on the inside see this is the kind of stuff that jacks you up slows you down i have no idea this here what kind of line they put on there for the coolant line before they started bending like the, the coolant supply broke. pipe so need a pipe to go in that turbo and a coolant line to go in there to make that right and they put an extra clamp there when they put this hose on here they left that clamp there I don't think this rear main is leaking but it's a little damp in here I think this transmission was off because Sergio's name is on the torque converter but there is some oil in here probably from a cam cell leak but I think we got a rear main. I got to make sure I got my tool. I used it at David's place. And I got to make sure it's in my car still. 
Jim decided he wanted to go in with a quake. So we about to split this transmission, clean it up so it looks a lot cleaner, and put a quaif in it. We got to try to pick up a quaif tomorrow. We're going to check with a couple people. We might have to get one overnighted. We got the pin punched out, reverse light punched out, oil drained. It had a lot of oil in there, at least a quart. Got that bracket removed. Now we're getting ready to break all these bolts loose around here and split this thing. Woo -woo. Let's keep moving. We got the transmission apart and this bearing had a race on it. So we took that race and set it over there. It came out of the transmission housing right there. So we got to make sure that goes back in and it has a little washer thing that was in before the race. Don't know if that's supposed to be like that. But these bearings right in there. And this is the transmission filter right here. Let me put some light on it. So this catches any metal particles or anything that's floating around in the transmission. Magnet, that right? side seems relatively clean. And so does that side. Usually they have more buildup on them. But it's just a, a nice size magnet. Hold on. Let me see if it's got a side. Yeah, it's got a bunch of stuff on there. They look the same both sides. Yeah, so make sure you got to put that back where it came from. So this is the open diff that we need to take loose and put the quaif in when we get in. And I think on the other side of that, it has the tone ring that we need to get off of there and put on the quaif. And that's the magnet cleaned up. And where's the stuff you got off of it on that rag? Let's see, all metal shavings, yeah. No metal shavings, just a bunch of metal dust. Grease. Grease and metal grease dust. This? this is all metal. It all right, this one has all of its little plastic tip teeth parts still on there. I'm not sure which parts are the synchros. I might look that up later today on the internet to see if I could visibly see any damaged synchros in here. But maybe the brass ones are the synchros that help synchronize your gear changing sequence. If your synchros are bad, your transmission can pop out of gear and not shift right. So you always want good synchros. Making some progress on the inside. Getting ready to break these two bolts loose on the side of this bracket so we can lift this shifter up. Man, this shifter is beautiful. And one of the few that's not broken on top from people climbing around in the car. So I got the cable that goes outside loose. I got the cable that goes up to the shift lock ignition loose. All I got to do is pull these four bolts the rest of the way out that I got loose. The two on either side. And then this will come out. Now let me give you guys a little tip. Before you go pulling this car apart for your manual swap, come on the inside before you disconnect your battery. Move both of your seats all the way back. Anytime you got to take out center console, move both of your seats all the way back. That'll help you. Now, I got to struggle with that bolt. Here's the pedals. It's got one of these switches on there, which is... I can't remember. I probably early 95, 94, 93. And the pedals look like they're in really good shape. Not any really crazy wear, a little bit on the brake pad, but man, this pad here looks really good. Got the clip there, so let's go ahead and put these pedals in. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.